what's up team what's up team team i want to say first off i want to start by saying don't allow this to distract you okay well team you want to watch these vlogs so you get the real kim okay yes this is how i'll be i just washed my hair and flat ironed it so in order to have your hair look like something in the morning, you go, you know what I'm talking about, ladies. You got to wrap your hair. I want my hair to be, you know, flowy and looking silky and stuff. You know, yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to look like something. And I'm going to put on some makeup and put on some lashes and, yeah. and watch. Watch what babe do. He's going to be checking me out. <laughs> He's going to be checking me out, you guys. Team, don't listen to this one. Don't listen. I'm, I'm going to be checking her out, Tim. Yeah, I'm going to check her out. She yeah. fine, Tim, you know? Yeah. That's my eye candy. <laughs> when, we, when we were recording, what we, happened, babe? we used to always... Um, what we did? Video chat, like on Facebook Messenger. We'll be on there for hours. Marco Polo. Yeah, Marco Polo for hours. Marco Polo on Messenger. Yeah. And I was like, bump this. I ain't trying to be cute all the time. So I wrapped my hair. And I had a gold scarf for Bay told me he hated it. And he used to call me what? Say it, babe. Dirty, did you do rag diva? I'm like, what? So he's, he, he actually liked this scarf. Team, it looked like something you use, she used to mop the floor with. No, it did it's not. Good. It was golden, y'all. I don't know where it's at. She think I threw it away. I, think I don't did. know where it's at. But if I knew, I would throw it away. Cause team, it's just some stuff that looked like. I mean, it just looked like it was passed down. Like <laughs> it doesn't. Like she had it. Uh, uh, she had it wiping, wiping the kids' vomit from the floor and different. Oh so it just no, like, he just he's team, he's a exaggerating team, of you guys. Team, yeah, I don't know. When she worked at the hospital, she must have found it there. You know no. what I'm saying? One of them <laughs> them biohazard things. Listen. Yeah, for real, team. But anyway, team. Yeah, she she gorgeous. I wanted to get mm -hmm. fine tomorrow. You know. Check her out, you know, lust after her, you know. Yeah, plus we're gonna go home. somewhere tomorrow. We're gonna go yeah. get some Chinese food. We've some been Chinese craving. Food. I ain't had no Chinese food. Oh man, it been it been months. I like I like now let me tell you something. With Chinese food, I do not experiment. I don't know what some of that stuff is. And I ain't trying to find out after I ate it. So I stick with the stuff I've been eating. Shrimp rolls, egg rolls, shrimp fried rice. Shrimp rolls? I don't, shrimp rolls. I don't mess with beef fried rice because I don't know what that beef is. Mm -hmm. Well, you okay. you should know the difference. It's the chicken you don't trust. I wouldn't trust because. I don't eat that chicken. Chicken be like, you don't know if it's cat or rat, you know. You don't know if the beef is cat or rat. The beef might be rat. Um, I don't know, but it depends. If I go into a Chinese restaurant and they don't have a grade A on the wall, I'm I'm leaving. Cause I've been I ate at Chinese restaurants before and I just had like broccoli and rice. And I woke up with bad abdominal cramps. It was just horrible. It was sick to my stomach and I tried to, you know, but I couldn't do it and it was horrible. So I was like, for now on, I just look at the grade A. If you don't have it, I'm out of there. But yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't look at. It. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't. I don't look for all that. Yeah, know? we should. I ain't saying we shouldn't, but I just don't. Half the team, most of the team, don't even look for a grade. Uh, what's y'all grade? No, half the team don't even look for that. So tomorrow when we go, you looking for a grade? Yeah. Okay. They should have okay. a right in the open where everybody can see. It should be like a plaque on the wall, right by the door, or behind the counter where they serve the food. Yes, babe. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love that broccoli too. Yeah. The broccoli. There's a couple of things I eat like uh back in my old hometown. It's 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 a little a small restaurant called Golden Run. It's kinda like hibachi, but to me it's way smaller, but to me, it's way better than hibachi. The potatoes is everything good. The broccoli mwah. Well, tell me tell hibachi tomorrow. Everything good the uh grilled that grilled shrimp i mean french fries everything just good well he get me hungry y'all you want to go to hibachi because you talking about so good are we going to little... no i said golden run not hibachi oh okay you golden said the run. hibachi in here was so good what you want i want 
I, I know I ain't say that because I wouldn't go there unless somebody else paying for it. I would eat it unless somebody oh, okay. else paying for it. You want to pay for that? You supposed to trick me to lunch, you know? <laughs> but you want to go to hibachi, right? I thought you was talking about the hibachi to the team. Yeah. Right, God, look at this person. Team, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little, I'm a little sleepy. Yeah. I know every time y'all see me lately, I'm like, I'm talking about sleep. I'm, I'm sleepy. You don't get much sleep, you guys. Yeah. The team, I try to go to, I try to go to sleep, but then people make it noise. Yeah. People, people making noise. They walk like they walk around like nobody's sleeping. <laughs> they talk loud like nobody's sleeping. I mean, I... It's just all types of disrespect. You know? Well, I sleep mostly in the daytime. <laughs> and babies spy on me when I'm sleeping. Showing the team. My hair be sticking all up. <laughs> but really? Why you do that to me, honey? Anyway, team. Look, check this out. I was thinking about um, the testimony my wife had that some of y'all heard uh, where the woman got healed. And I actually got, and I, what made me think about this, because that's in a session. And check this out. I actually got an ebook that y'all could check out. It's called The Power of an Accession. It might bless you. I like I'm, it. I'm going to be honest with you. It blessed me because. A lot of things I used to hear in church, and I gotta be careful how I word this. A lot of things I used to hear in church that I learned different at home, spending time with the Lord. Cause like I heard, I heard a preacher say once that um, he's he asked God could he have faith for somebody else, and he and he said that God told him no. And to be honest with you, that didn't sit well with me, but I didn't go home and study it. I'm going to be honest, I didn't go home and study it. But one day I happened to be living in a, sitting in the living room, and the Lord just trumped up, chopped a bunch of stuff for me. And then, and then showing me how in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that people came to Jesus on behalf of other people, and he accepted their faith. And really, that's what an intercessor is. So if you're one of those people that's interceding for somebody, and you tell them it's according to your faith, you wrong because it's according to yours. You the intercessor. If I'm going to God on behalf of you, it's not according to your faith. It's according to mine. God is accepting my faith on your behalf. When the Seraphonician woman, the Canaanite woman came to Jesus, Jesus, Jesus accepted her faith. He said, oh, woman, great is thy faith. He never asked her, did her daughter have faith? When uh, when Peter and John saw the man at the beautiful gate, they never asked him, did he have any faith? But Peter commanded him to get up and walk. Jesus accepted the father's faith of the demoniac boy. Jesus accepted the um, Jesus accepted the faith of the Satorian on behalf of of his servant. And why I'm saying this, because whoever you are interceding for don't have to have any faith. I know that sounds crazy, but when you look at it, think about, think about this. When Jesus, when Jesus was talking to the father of the demoniac boy, he said the first thing Jesus did before he even healed the boy, before he delivered the boy, the first thing he did was deal with the father's faith. And even the 12 year old girl, can't remember the name now, when her father came to him, Jesus dealt with his faith before anything else. So it's according to the faith of the person that come to Jesus. Read my book. Yeah, he that come after God must believe. Babe, did you ask that woman, does she have faith? No, I never did. Okay, thank you. Yeah. When you pray for people and they got healed, did you ever ask them that they have faith? Never. Stop telling people it's according to your faith. You know why Jesus said that? Because they came to him. He's God. If I'm coming to God, I should have faith. Mm -hmm. It's according to my faith. That's why he said, that's why he said the um, blind Bartimaeus, be it unto you according to your faith. That's why he said to the woman that issue of blood, it was according to your faith. Because they came to God for themselves. If I come to God for you, it's according to my faith. 
And I say that because somebody told me that one time. They prayed for me and said, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's according to your faith. And, and talk about it, babe, where you said certain people pray for people and they don't expect nothing to happen right then. You know, he's telling me. When certain pray, certain people go to the hospital and pray for people, mm -hmm. they don't expect them to be healed right then. Yeah. No. It's a touchy, this is a touchy subject. Yeah. Uh, but like, when when I was in the hospital, when I was in the hospital in 2012, I was there... I was there for most of 2012 and people would pray for me when they was leaving. But you can kind of tell that people wasn't looking while they was praying for me. They wasn't looking for me to be healed right then. You you can tell that they, they wasn't looking for me to be healed right then. And I think we're praying for people. We should be looking for a miracle right then. Yeah, and that's one thing that I believe in doing. And I take it personal. Like God is person get healed. I, I get mad. I got. I question why, and I take that burden on me. And it's not for me to take the burden, but I I expect God to heal somebody when I pray for them right then, or you know, I, I just very persistent about it. And that's how we get results of seeing miracles right then and there, because a miracle is instantaneous, and a healing is kind of gradual over time. But miracles can be in the form of healing. But like my husband said. You know, look for them to be healed right then. You know, you want to see results. You're wondering why you're not operating in healing and faith and all this good stuff and seeing results. Look for it then. You know, you got to, it's kind of like you're activating your faith. But. Yeah. So, you know, people will pray for me and then they go on their way, you know, but it felt more like, and I'm being honest with you, it felt more like a, a church routine. You know, you know, especially when you put prayer off to when I get ready to leave and then I'll see you later. Like, man, let's pray. We get in there. Come on, because you getting out of here. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, I prayed for this girl one time on the job. And for this older woman one time on the job, I prayed for her. And be honest, I ain't think nothing else about it. I went down to my machine. And then she came, she came down there. But when she came to me, now, this woman looked like she shouldn't even been at work. She looked, I mean, she looked drained. I guess she just, she just didn't want to miss no days and miss no money. But she looked like she shouldn't have been at work. Like she, she needed to be carried, really. And she was standing there working. I prayed for her. And I didn't pray no long prayer. And that's another thing. You ain't got to pray for nobody for two hours. You got to pray for nobody for 20 minutes. And that's a pattern in the Bible as well. But anyway, I prayed for her less than a minute. And then I went back to my machine and I ain't think nothing of it. And like five minutes later, she come walking down. My, it's a long aisle. She come walking down the aisle. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I forgot about it because... I used to just make up songs, make up songs to the Lord. And so I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'm down there singing. And uh, she come down there and she said, thank you. And I never asked her, do you have faith? Do you have faith? Even though she was in church, but uh, I mean, I didn't ask it. I didn't tell her it's according to your faith. And there was a girl on that same job that I prayed for. The Lord healed her. Now I know she didn't have faith. I know she didn't have faith. The Lord healed her. But every symptom, it was four symptoms, about four or five symptoms she said she had that I ended up with. I had to get somebody to pray for me after I left work. I would leave in work early after I left work. Everything she said she had, I had when I left that place. And um, be right back. Well, since we're talking about healing, this is an opportunity for us to minister healing unto you. So we just pray that you be healed from every sickness and infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. If we plead the blood of Jesus right now upon you, right now we just send forth the fire of God to cover you from your head down to your feet. And by your stripes, you are healed in yes, Jesus' Lord. mighty name. In Jesus' name. Anyway, Terry, today has been a great day. I know we don't run off somewhere else. You yeah, know, I believe it's Spirit led, because somebody's watching us and they need healing in their body. Yeah. So anyway, my book is called 
The Power of Intercession. It's an ebook. I mean, it's short. It's, it's uh, it's four chapters. You'll like it though. First chapter, Call to Prayer. Second chapter, Intercession in the Word. Third chapter, Intercession in My Life, where I give you a bunch of testimonies. And then fourth chapter, Intercession on the Cross. Check that out. Check that out. I enjoyed it. He operates some word of knowledge. You know, word of knowledge is, if you follow the ministry, that's like one of my strongest gifts. My baby, he operates some word of knowledge. So, I enjoyed the book. Mm. Glad, you, glad you enjoyed the book. Come here, give me a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what, what else we doing tomorrow? That's it? Yeah, Um. I want to get on Periscope and have a prophetic hour with this. I want to pray for the Lord's people. Um. Me and babe gonna date, eat some Chinese food, take out together. And come back and work. <laughs> yeah. And um yeah, me and babe might take some photos together or something. We're overdue need, for a photo shoot. We need some photos, yeah. We need some photos. Yeah, because we gotta work on this magazine and I'm like, Lord Jesus, so Yeah, so I gotta I gotta get on that tomorrow. I gotta do some some Photoshop work, some photo editing. I gotta do Commercial <laughs> magazine cover. Yes. And mm -hmm. only a little bit of you guys sent us questions for our interview. Come on, I thought we was family. Come on, Saints. Come Where on, the questions Saints. at? Come on. I know you got questions for Tron and Kim. Come on. I know you guys got some questions. Come on. Email us some questions for our magazine anniversary at Team Moses Vlogs at Gmail. Dot com and put where you're from and also if you want to add your business or your ministry you know so we can shout you out as well in the magazine so yeah and it's special mm -hmm. three years you know that's faithfulness i thank god for that this wow now look whatever questions y'all <laughs> send, send it send it because we know y'all ain't gonna ask nothing crazy crazy out the way but look, send your questions. Right. Whether it's for me, whether it's for her, whether it's for us. Send your questions. Come on. <laughs> we want the people to interview us. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a good issue. It's going to be a good issue. Do that. Do that. Yes. Tame my ain't lying. Sleep is all in my eyes. But I, I don't want to go to sleep this early. What time is it? It's like 8 something. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, when you go to sleep, to sleep. Um, I'm going to get on the computer and just finish my you class. You want to go to sleep? Yeah, absolutely. That's when you get work done, right? When, when you go to sleep, me and the team going to be over you looking at you. No. We're going to be watching you, right, team? Watching you snore. Yeah, because I, I slept most of the day. I was so tired, you guys. I... Didn't want to cook dinner. I didn't want to do anything except go to sleep. And <laughs> yeah. Team, but anyway, I got me a Pepsi in the refrigerator. And I'm allowed to drink it. Can't nobody tell me nothing because they got their own soda that they drink it. You know? And then when I finish mine, I'm going to help her work on hers. No, he will. He will not. What? See? this team you don't need it get on him team about this that's what i do team like when i finish my sub early i just i wanted to help her work on hers when i finish i got we got some macadamia cookies when i finish mine i'm gonna help her work on hers no. that's just man, that's how we do you gotta share come yeah, on you we, know what i want you we're to buy team me. team moses i want you to buy my exercise ball i want those balls i'm gonna blow it up and i'm gonna get on there and do some sit like one two three four five and then you know it's gonna be fun. Work out with the ball. Yeah. Ten. This is the only working out she's been doing. <laughs> this is the only working you know out she's been doing. This is so weird for me in this season to start watching TV again because I went like years without watching TV. So, me, believe it or not, me too, Ten. And I, I just can't watch too much of it at one time. I'm just like. The only yeah. TV, the only thing I would watch is stuff like on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Watch I watch YouTube. I, I can't watch. Matter of fact, it went, and that wouldn't even be no shows. That would just be stuff with preaching and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so we we just really started watching TV too. Yeah, I guess it's just the way of dating each other and bonding and, you know, so I guess like. It's Tuesday. It's a rerun. Oh, sorry, Tim. Yeah. So, you know, um, we do spiritual things together, but we also got to do natural things like, you know, court each other and have fun and stuff like that. Just to keep the relationship spicy. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's a good way to keep it spicy? It's a good way to keep it spicy. No mind, no mind. We're gonna say mind, that for this, another. Yeah, for the magazine. We'll say that for the magazine. Yeah, yeah we'll take. So please send your questions. Come on, come on, team. Yeah, you know what we gonna do with this channel? How we gonna do it? We gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We gonna do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, but it just don't look like it's gonna be Monday through Friday right now. But we're trying to do other stuff right now. Yes, we got audio books to do and publishing books and one of my I got a new client that I gotta work on her book today. So I got like three books I gotta publish like right now. So it's a kind of busy season. Yeah, and we're launching new pro um projects and also we have job opportunities and we'll announce that later. So you can come work for me and Tron, you know, on a, our official affiliate yeah. affiliate program. We'll launch that. I'm going to tell you guys soon we're excited. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want the team working for us. Don't want to work for us? They are cousins. I hate to fire my own family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so it's a way to get extra cash, so. Yeah. I'm just I'm just joking. <laughs> team, I'm, just, I'm just joking. Yeah. Don't be getting offended. Don't be in the comments because, you know, some of y'all will tell us or, well, y'all tell me off. <laughs> y'all pretty much leave her alone. I'm the one that get told off. I don't do this right. I don't. I don't. I don't present the food right. I don't. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But anyway, team. You know my saying. It's been real. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been fun. We love y'all. Yes. We appreciate y'all. Yes. Thank you for continuing this journey with us. Yes. Thank you to all the people that have been with us from day one. Yes. Thank you to all the people who have just joined us. Yes. Go back and watch the old videos when we was courting. Yes. Matter of fact, no, start with the videos when she was in Colorado. That's where the vlogging started. Yes. And she came and we vlogged, we courted. Yeah. Watch those videos. And team, you know what? I'm going to have to send my hard drive off. I'm about to find where I can send my hard, hard drive off to get fixed. Because I got a bunch of photo shoots on, on, on my hard drive. I can't even use those photos no more until I get off that hard drive. And then plus, our first date is on that hard drive. And I wanted to show y'all that. But then, I don't know if the hard... I don't remember now if the hard drive fell. Did I say it fell? I don't remember what happened to it, but it won't come on. And our first date is on there. And the proposal? And the proposal was on there. Very unique proposal. I would tell you, but I think they want to actually get the hard no, drive we're, to show no, you. No, we're going to show. We ain't telling y'all. Yeah. We ain't telling y'all. So get to see footage you never seen before. Yeah, we're going to throw it in the vlog one day. The proposal and the first date. Yeah. But anyway, we love y'all. We're going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace.